Hello everyone, Ori here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video and today I'm going to do a player review It's going to be the 88 icon Nesta uh, He is in the icon swaps uh, So uh, we mostly are going to see uh, if he's worth it to spend those uh, 9 tokens that uh, he requires So, so uh, we, he, we're going to jump, uh, these are uh, his stats uh, that pace is not the best, but uh, if you talk about defending and physical, he is just uh, incredible, one of the absolute best uh, in the game. And uh, the problem is that agility and balance, but uh, if uh, we uh, put a guardian uh, camp style on him, uh, we can uh, fix that a bit. Uh, in general, uh, a great defender, the only problem uh, is his pace and agility. Uh, we're gonna love him uh, with a normal team and uh, we're gonna see uh, how uh, he performs. Uh, we're gonna go with a 4-4-2 formation and uh, a very defensive formation and a, very, uh, a great formation for good counter attacks. Uh, that's, uh, I like this formation the best. Uh, we're gonna jump uh, to the game. Uh, the first opponent is gonna have a, a great team. Uh, to be honest, with that sound man, yeah, the the better there. So uh, the first uh, occasion that we see uh, Nesta with the interception. Uh, another um, occasion there, I lose the ball and it's up to Nesta to recover, and he does very well. Uh, I'm gonna uh, try to show uh, mostly a uh, defensive, uh, defensive plays. There you have it, Nesta again, and he's gonna do just uh, perfectly fine there with that. Uh, his standing tackle, it's uh, so incredible, and uh, he's gonna chase up some there, and he's gonna catch it. Maybe uh, the biggest problem he has is that uh, he cannot really, as you can see, he lost uh, his player there. He uh, cannot uh, catch you in long runs, so that's where his biggest downgrade is for me as about his uh, standing tackles uh, there you see again uh, Nesta is just uh, is just an amazing player one of the uh, best uh, defenders with uh, that uh, incredible uh, tackles that uh, he has uh, there you see again Nesta there uh, taking the ball up on and gets the lucky bounce but uh, luckily for us is the post and uh, I'm gonna do a great counter attack here with uh, the speedy Douglas Costa to be honest and uh, it's gonna be a great one two with Douglas Costa he's gonna run up to that field and then he's gonna score that gold uh, he's gonna score that uh, incredible goal moving up to uh, another occasion my opponent uh, still on the offensive side He's gonna try to build it. It's up to Nesta again. Just uh, look at those tackles. I mean, uh, incredible tackle there again, and uh, he he saves us. So uh, he, I'm gonna say uh, uh, two things about Nesta. If you are a, a player who just uh, like to play fast uh, with formations like a uh, uh, four one two one two narrow or uh, different other uh, just uh, quick formations, uh, beautiful goal there for Douglas Costa. And uh, him opponent just uh, decides to rage quick, and uh, we're gonna go uh, to the uh, next game. As uh, I was saying, uh, if you uh, are a player who just uh, likes to play fast, I will not recommend Nesta because uh, uh, with a fast formation, you're gonna leave gaps, and uh, you just need the quick players to recover those gaps. And Nesta is not the best. I would recommend to use him in a 4-4-2 formation or 4-2-3-1 formation uh, with the players uh, who have uh, you have to have patience and not to not leave uh, gaps uh, on that uh, defense uh, as you can see again here uh, my opponent uh, with the ball and uh, he just uh, gonna score this lucky goal I think maybe Nessa should have been in another position but it's just not his fault it's just a uh, EA thing so here we can see uh, Nesta with that uh, uh, pass uh, with that mistake and uh, I'm gonna concede the free kick here and my opponent just gonna score this uh, beautiful goal from the, free, from the free kick I don't know how they learned it I just uh, haven't got used of uh, free kicks yet but uh, just a beautiful free kick from him perfectly executed and uh, he is going to take the lead moving up to another occasion uh, i'm in on the offensive side here alex Xera. 
He is the God from me. He's gonna pass to Gabriel Jesus, and I'm gonna equalize. Moving up to another attack from my opponent. A Minotaur loves it here. But that's something that uh, Nesta, uh, I don't think that uh, in those last uh, 10 of, or 15 meters uh, inside the area would never do. Uh, that's something that uh, Icon has, uh, an Icon has in my opinion. Uh, that's where, where they are uh, great, as you can see here uh, with that uh, interception there. Mm. But uh, in general, um, Nesta it's okay. Uh, as I said, the only problem is uh, is his pace and uh, is that uh, agility. But uh, put a camp style, a garden on him, and he's gonna do far, uh, fine. You just uh, can't uh, outmuscle him. Uh, he's just strong. But and, uh, with that, uh, if you defend with uh, L2, uh, his standing tackle is just on another level, and uh, he's never gonna miss a tackle. Uh, there you can see again here. Nesta just doing Nesta type things, just saving us again there, and he's gonna uh, uh, play a, a great game. Uh, he's uh, with an 8.5 uh, rating uh, there. Uh, so uh, uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, I just uh, tried him in uh, two games. Uh, it's up to you now to decide uh, if you wanna uh, spend those nine buttons or on Nesta or not. Thank you all for watching, and I see you again.